Ishan. Welcome to the fifth episode of Beyond with FCM, a platform for connecting students aspiring to study abroad with industry leaders and specialized university rep. HCM is a global education consultancy with our head office in Canada and our presence in now North Africa, Middle East, and now in Pakistan. It is a part of Catalyst Ventures, and our board consists of leaders in the fields of media, event management, and business. Armed with ISAF certified consultants and career counselors, we are here to change the narrative of education consultancy in Pakistan. Our USP lies in, so, you know, there are a whole lot of things, but basically we are, you know, have customer centricity and building and maintaining lifelong relationships, which is at the heart of everything that we do. Today's session uh, will, will be led by Maya Azam. And it is, uh, she's gonna be telling us about the SRH Berlin University. And, you know, when I was looking at the marketing collateral of the university, what interested me was its slogan. When it says it's all about students, it's your goals and your studies, which matters most to them. Germany, you'd all know, is the economic hub for growth, employment, and export. And it, it provides a myriad uh, opportunities to skilled graduates, especially graduates from the STEM program. SRH Berlin University is uh, a conglomerate of six colleges and it's, it is present in three locations, Berlin, Hamburg and Dresden. And I'd like to add here that, you know, what, I, what really interested me and what I want to share is that language is not a bar here. It's not a barrier at all because they offer a huge range of high quality programs in English language as well. And if you are interested in learning the language, there are free German language courses to international students. And I strongly recommend that you learn uh, the language because it adds to your resume and it will really help you in your career. Moving forward, uh, what I'd like to add before I uh, introduce Maya is that it is very, very affordable. They have wonderful scholarships, which Maya will be talking about. And of course, the settle-in services. Uh, so without much ado, I'd like to introduce Maya Azam. She is the regional director of MENA and Turkey for the university. And she's gonna tell you about applications, uh, you know, your career options, admissions, financials et al. Welcome to Beyond Maya, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Hello, so my name is Maya, and I'm really, really excited to be with you guys today because we really have interesting things to talk about when it comes to studying in Germany and uh, investing in this future because it really gives you back too many options, and this is really where your journey starts. So um, first of all, I would like to share my screen with you so that we can talk in, or tell you more about the details about SRH Berlin University of Applied Sciences, to tell you more about how can you kickstart your journey and really start a career in Germany after graduation. So I'm gonna be sharing my screen. If you can just confirm that you can see my screen. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah? Okay, perfect, let's start. So actually, uh, as I said earlier, I'm super excited to be with you guys because this is Germany. This is all about Germany and about uh, studying in Germany in this beautiful country with different campuses, different job vacancies, most importantly. And of course, if you are interested in becoming German citizens afterwards, so I'm going to be supporting you with that to see how can you really start this journey. So I'm going to be representing again SRH Berlin University of Applied Sciences, and it's one of the top, top private universities in Germany. I'm going to be talking about us. So I'm going to be introducing SRH Berlin, telling you more about the campuses, about the locations. Uh, I'm going to also be talking about the learning model that we have at our university. So as we said earlier, we really care about our students. We really care about delivering uh, practical material, material for our students and not only theoretical, okay? 
And afterwards, we're going to talk about the different and various study programs that we have at SRH Berlin, ranging from engineering, computer science, business, creative arts, popular arts, and many more. And then we're going to be talking about the application process, the financing, some scholarships that you can gain and that you can benefit of. Of course, if you are really qualified for that, and I know that you are. And then we will move to the Q&A section where you can ask anything that comes to your mind and I'll be happy to be supporting you and to be answering you. So let's start. Who are we? I always like to start my presentations with this slogan, which is you can't teach a person anything. You can only help them discover it within themselves. And this is what we really care about. And this is what we do. We put you on the path and we help you go through the path, okay? So it's not like we really uh, dictate what you have to do or we teach you what you have to do. Instead, this is the new and innovative way of teaching that you explore and you discover your path. And this is what we help you achieve. Of course, we assist you, we guide you through the process, and then you would be doing the work. Studying in Germany, why do you think it's interesting to study in Germany? Why Germany in specific when we have UK, USA, France, Italy, we have a lot of destinations, but why Germany in specific? Of course, good reputation of universities. So we have really great um, and uh, really top quality universities in Germany when it comes to the public system or the private system. And of course, SRH Berlin is among the top private universities. We have all the accreditations. So our qualifications are recognized worldwide and in Germany. We offer state recognized degrees. So you don't have to worry about it. If you plan on staying in Germany or going back to your home country, you can definitely get the equivalency of your certificate. Number three, and most importantly, attractive job prospects. Even within the COVID-19 crisis that we are facing, Germany remains to offer job vacancies for its students and for its citizens. So imagine that among the crisis, we are still managing to really offer you jobs and to support you with this journey. And then we're going to talk more about it, about the job vacancies and the fields that are attractive, mainly for international students. Of course, it is known for quality and technology, and especially in the STEM field. So what is better than Germany if you want to major in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering? And, you know, the well-known brands and companies um, of the cars, let's say, or of the mechatronics field, they are all present and exist in Germany. And then... Uh, Well-developed infrastructure, it's such a beautiful country with so many facilities that you can gain. Of course, safety and high quality of life, it's very safe, extremely safe. And um, when it comes to the cost of living, it, it's considered really affordable. So let's say it's going to be around 700 up to 800 euros per month would be sufficient. Not a thousand, not a 1,200, of course, according to your expenses. And then most importantly, the postgraduate visa, which is staying back in Germany for the duration of 1.5 years. And this is um, available or offered for you to try to find a job afterwards. And then you are definitely allowed to work while studying. So you can have a part-time job while studying, and then you can be able to support yourself with the living expenses because the salary wages, they're really good even for part-time jobs. Moving on to SRH universities, we are really well established in Germany. We have a network of seven universities and SRH Berlin is one of the seven universities. We have a huge variety of programs that are gonna be offered for you in English language and not in German. You don't have to know German. In fact, we will offer you free German classes. So by the time you will be graduating, then you would be mastering the German language and then going to find a job and looking for job vacancies and maybe staying in Germany. Of course, it's definitely worth staying in Germany. Uh, we have our 19 technical schools, we have our clinics, our rehabilitation centers. So as you know, as you can see, we are really well established in the region. This is just a glimpse of our university. So as you can see here, SRH Berlin, we are responsible of Hamburg, Berlin, and Dresden. And these are the most 
or the main attractive destinations, and you can definitely choose one of them. And then we have other sister universities, which are, which are SRH Home, SRH Heidelberg, and many more. This is just a glimpse, by the way. I didn't find really space to put all of our campuses because we have different campuses in different locations. So this is just a glimpse of what we offer in Berlin. Here, the picture on the right. Uh, at a glance, and in summary, we offer excellent teaching quality, again, innovative study model, which is the core model, and then I'm going to talk more about it. When it comes to the core model, it's, again, we really care about practice-oriented studies and not theoretical only. You can also benefit from something called a five-week block study. So this is not to be overwhelmed with the number of exams that you're going to go through, with, the, with all the commitments that you have. In fact, instructors will be evaluating your group work, your interactive sessions, um, some exams that you're going to do, practical, uh, practical work that you're going to go through. And really, students love it. They love this practicality of the way we do things. Small teaching groups, practical studies, and most importantly, internationality of study programs. You're going to be studying with other international students and meeting people from, from all over the world. Not only Germans, you're going to be meeting a lot of international students. Uh, afterwards, you can also benefit from studying abroad, going on um, internships abroad, exchange semesters. We have over 113 university partners all over the world. So these are somehow integrated within the program when it comes to choosing to study abroad or doing an internship abroad or even in Germany. Uh, again, extensive network of companies and universities, the PR, the network is super important and we are partners with almost more than 1,500 corporate partners and they are really well known in Germany. Individual career service and our career services department, they're always ready to support you with finding a job, providing you with the employability skills that you need, um, offering you certain workshops to land the perfect job for you after graduation. So we are always ready to support you and to offer you private and individual consultations. We have our campus library. It's a family atmosphere. We are all family at SRH Berlin. The staff, the students, we really act as if we are one entity. And then uh, nearby public transportation, and it's going to be very easy to be um, moving from one place to another, whether you were in Dresden, Berlin, or Hamburg campus. Moving on to our locations, as I said earlier, we are located in three main destinations in Germany. You can either study in Berlin or Dresden or Hamburg or mix and match, depending on what you are looking for and depending on finding your major within these campuses. Berlin, it is very vibrant, very trendy, and we call it Europe Silicon Valley. There are a lot of job opportunities there. It's the capital. It's the big one of the biggest cities. It's Berlin is just super amazing and fantastic if you decide to study in this campus. We offer different programs from engineering to tourism, hospitality, creative programs, and many more. There are tons of career options and, of course, a variety of English-speaking jobs. So still, you don't have to learn the language, although I always encourage you to start learning the language because it will support you throughout your path. Moving on to Dresden, and this is a glimpse of Dresden as well. We, we offer hospitality pro programs there. So we have our School of Management in Dresden. Accommodation is easier to find in Dresden. So there's accommodation that is available close to campus. And Hamburg, Hamburg, we chose our newest campus to be in Hamburg because we see Hamburg as the gate to the world. There are too many job opportunities in Hamburg. The lifestyle is super amazing. Um, the, the highest GDP in Germany is located, is available actually in Germany. So there are a lot of job opportunities with very, very good salary wages. And one of the most popular programs is the supply chain management. So if you're interested in going uh, through this path, I would really advise you to apply for the supply chain management. And in the Hamburg campus, we are also offering really good scholarships. So I really encourage you to apply for this um, campus as well. Now, uh, again, if you would like to take a glimpse at our campuses, you can visit us digitally or in person if you are available, if you are uh, able to come to Germany. 
So we have the Berlin School of Popular Arts. You can just go online and take the virtual campus tour. And then you can go into every campus, check the rooms, check the facilities, and check everything that is available there. Okay, so as you can see, School of Design and Communication, Management, Dresden, SRH Campus Hamburg, which is our newest campus, and then Berlin School of Technology. It's really, really amazing if you can go online and check it out. Now, when it comes to living expenses, uh, as I said earlier, you would need around 800 euros per month, which would be sufficient for you to uh, support yourself and pay for your accommodation, for your living expenses, transportation, uh, food, and everything you need. 800, 800 euros per month would be enough. Now, Hamburg is slightly, slightly, I mean, I don't wanna say it's more expensive than Berlin because they are somehow equally the same, but I mean, it, you can find some differences. It's actually negligible, not that much. And compared to Munich, Munich is really expensive. And we took Berlin as a standard. When it comes to Dresden, Dresden, the, the, mainly the accommodation and the rent in Dresden is a bit cheaper than other destinations. But in total, 800 euros per month would be sufficient. Back to our uh, famous core model. This is the practice-oriented education that I told you about. It is designed in-house and we are super proud of it. One of our professors designed it. It's competence-oriented research and education. Again, we really care about the practicality of studying. Moving on to uh, some of the events that took place on campus. As I said, we are one entity. We are one family at SRH Berlin. We have different uh, types of activities. The campus is always very, very vibrant with our students, especially when it comes to the film, to the audio um, majors, music production, and all of this. So this is one of the festivals that took place. We have a Christmas party organized by the Student Council. And I hope to see you here in this picture and to use your picture sometime in the future. So um, we really would, would like to have you with us in Germany. Then we have some expert talks that we usually host and organize when it comes to the culture, economy, business, um, pro, uh, business uh, talks. And then we have the airport campus. This is another lecture that was delivered for our students when it comes to the technology majors. Events in our startup lab. And by the way, my virtual background is the startup lab at Berlin. So as you can see, we have a very, very beautiful campus. And you can, of course, benefit from studying abroad. There are tons of exchange semesters where you can go to Germany, study a semester in another country, and then come back to Germany. So this is how you become an international citizen of the world. Electronic live performance, as I said, when it comes to um, events that are hosted by our creative, um, creative uh, and popular arts uh, students. So they are always interested in delivering such programs and events. And even in the mid of COVID-19, our students were delivering such events uh, online performances, concerts that we have, film projects, producing movies, and hospitality consulting project. This is another startup project in the field of hospitality. Study programs, you don't need to know German language. You are gonna be studying in English, which is gonna be easier for you. And then you would be learning uh, the language, which, which would be supporting you as well. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go over all the programs in details, but I'm gonna just pass quickly through them. We have the bachelor and the master programs in English, management and technology. The tuition fees would be around 4,500 euros per semester, which is super affordable. We have our mechatronics systems degree. It's gonna be launched in October, 2021. Imagine that you're in engineering for only or for less than 10,000 euros per year in Germany. Design and technology, creative industries, music production, audio design, photography, master programs in English, business and management. Uh, there's the international business and leadership, which is very, very attractive for students, okay? It's gonna be around 5,400 euros per semester, up to 6,500 euros per semester, depending on the program and on the campus. We have supply chain management in Hamburg as well. It's very famous and popular there. 
We have the masters in computer science, and then you can choose if you want to focus on cybersecurity, uh, data analytics, IT management, big data and artificial intelligence. And then it's going to also be around 6,500 euros per semester. Again, creative industries, photography, strategic design, social design, masters in engineering, water and waste management, uh, civil engineering, automation, robotics, 3D manufacturing, and really what's better than Germany uh, if you are interested in such programs. And then we have the MBA programs. MBA programs, as usual, it's a bit slightly more expensive than other programs. Again, cultural and international skills, you will become an international citizen of the world, and hopefully afterwards you will become a German citizen if you, you decided to stay in Germany. And by the way, um, Germany's passport is the third worldwide. So imagine getting this too. Uh, you can also work for 20 hours per week. And then you can stay in Germany for 1.5 years post-graduation. And this is the way for you from the student visa to permanent residence to become a permanent resident in Germany after graduating, after finding a job. And by the way, the years of education which you studied in Germany will be counted for your citizenship afterwards. I was pretty fast. I really wanted to provide you with all the information. Um, so thank you very much. And I really encourage you to start right now. I don't know what are you still waiting for and not submitting your applications and not applying to Germany. And I'm hoping to see you with us in October. So this is in a couple of months. Yes, thank you, Maya. Thank you for a, a wonderful presentation. Uh, it covered uh, all the aspects that the students want to know. And can I tell you that, you know, it excites me, even though I did my master's from the UK, but if I got another chance, I would completely apply to SRH Berlin. So thank you for uh, the wonderful presentation. Uh, now I'd like to ask all of the students, you, here's your chance to ask Maya any questions. Uh, if you have anything specific in your mind, please enter it uh, in the chat and we'll be asking Maya one by one. Uh, one of the students already has uh, posted a question, Maya, for you. How many Pakistani students do you have at the campus or at these universities? Yeah, how many Pakistani students? Now, my question would be for you. Why are you asking this question? This is number one, because of course, you're going to meet tons of international students and you just don't worry about it because we are here to help you, here to support you. And you really need to go out of your comfort zone and meet other students from other nationalities. Now, going back to your main question, how many Pakistani students? I really need to check the numbers with my colleague because he's responsible of these numbers. And I'm surely going to get back to you uh, with the numbers. Now, there's really a good, good population uh, for Pakistani students, uh, but I don't want to give you a wrong answer. OK, so there are Pakistani, Indian students, Arab students, Germans, Europeans. There are a lot of nationalities. Yes, so I would double uh, and, you know, I would support Maya here that you are going to find uh, folks from your country there uh, and, you know, you will probably gel in initially with uh, those that speak the language, but here's your chance to get out of your comfort zone and, you know, embrace all the other cultures, their food uh, uh, and, you know, their languages and, and get to know them better and that would add uh, more value to your degree. We have another question, uh, Maya. Mariam is asking, do you have on-campus dorm room? Okay. Now, actually, when it comes to accommodation, it's a bit challenging, especially in Berlin, because in Berlin, I mean, it's the capital and it's a very, very big city. So sometimes students would be struggling a bit with finding accommodation. But we are here to support you, uh, to guide you through student residencies, dormitories and all of this. We do not offer on campus accommodation but we try to offer you something that is closer to our campus so for example in dresden we offer or or there would be accommodation that is very close to our campus but we are not handling these so it's not under our university mainly universities not not all of them in germany because it's a very uh, practical world if i want to say and a fast forward world so sometimes it's really good if you can also be in general residences if i would say but we will guide you through this. Don't worry about it. There are tons of apartments that you can find. So Fatma has asked a very interesting question, Maya. 
She's saying, do students face any type of language difficulty in the beginning? So you've already mentioned that, you know, there are uh, courses and programs in, in English, but suppose, uh, you know, a Pakistani student uh, uh, started their journey on, and, and wanted to learn the German language and then, uh, you know, uh, apply and get into a program which is in German. Uh, what are the difficulties that they face in the beginning? Uh, I'm sorry, she, she's asking if she wants to apply for a program in German language. Yes. Okay, so actually we offer programs in German language, but I mean, if you have the opportunity to study in English at the beginning, I would encourage you to do this because this is the added value of it and the advantage that you are able to be comfortable and to study in your own language or in English language, actually, not your native language. And throughout the process, you would be learning uh, starting from the A1 level, A2 up to B1 and B2 levels of German language. So, I mean, I would really encourage you to study in English if you are able. I, of course, this is up to you, just so that you avoid any troubles with comprehending and understanding the language. And you would definitely need the German language when you are here. It will be very supportive while you are, let's say, going to the supermarket. That's why I always encourage you guys, if you took the decision to study in Germany, you can start immediately learning the language so that you can enhance your language skills. I hope this answered your question. So we hope that answered your question, Fatima. Maybe, you know, you begin with uh, an English language taught uh, program. And then, you know, once you've moved from beginner to uh, slightly more experienced uh, level I, with the German language, when you're there, you could, of course, switch programs. Uh, another question is regarding uh, study gap. Is it acceptable or is it not acceptable? You know, when students take a gap year. Now, uh, when it comes to taking a gap year, I mean, it would be, we would really need to check. Um, it's a case by case, you know, if they're gonna be taking a gap year or not. We always encourage them to just finish their education as fast as possible, because I'm sure they would be excited to find a job afterwards. So uh, we would need to evaluate, we would need to see how's the situation, if the student is struggling or not. So that's why we are always here to support them. And um, I mean, we need to really evaluate this on a case by case option but it would be up to them, maybe a gap semester, a gap year, if they really want this. But three years of education, it would be good to just finish it as fast as possible and find a job afterwards. Right, thank you. Amaya uh, Rafia Osman is asking a question. She asks, how do students normally commute around the city? Yeah, so actually when it comes to public transportation, it's super easy to commute around the city. There's the metro, the, the train, the everything. Everything is just available at your side, close to campus. It's super easy to commute. You also don't have to worry about it. Very practical, very advanced country, advanced destination. All the facilities are just yours. Okay, so um, Maya, you know, a, a lot of students are asking questions regarding scholarships. And once you sent me the collateral as well, I was really thrilled to read about, you know, scholarships for everyone, but women in specifics and, you know, entrepreneur uh, scholarships. Uh, would you want to elaborate on that, please? Of course. So uh, I know that it would be very important when it comes to um, to budgets and finances and plan ahead your finances, because this is an important factor so that you are comfortable while you are studying in a different destination. Uh, actually, when it comes to scholarships or let's let's dig deeper into this, uh, this uh, issue and factor when it comes to finances generally you would need to consider uh, having an amount of uh, something that is called blocked account. Blocked account, it means that you are able to have 800 euros per month to support yourself. This amount of money, if you add it up, you would need to send it to Germany to block the amount there, which is a total of 10,300 uh, euros. So then you will be deducting 800 euros per month from, per month from this blocked account. So it's very important to know that you have to secure this amount of money before applying for the embassy and getting your visa because it's a requirement. Germany really expects you to have around 800 euros per month to be able to support yourself. So this is one. Two, when it comes to paying the tuition fees at our university, we are somehow a bit also flexible with offering sometimes, I mean, 
Um, again, it's case by case if you really would be able to pay the full program or to pay it uh, for one year only. So sometimes you would be you would get a discount if you pay the full program tuition fees just one time. The other thing would be when it comes to scholarships, I really encourage you to apply for these scholarships. We offer an SRH scholarship program, which means you can benefit from around 20% up to 50% on the first year tuition fees. This would be very supportive for you. But first you would need to have the acceptance from our university and then you would apply for the scholarship. Other types of scholarships would be when it comes to women in, in entrepreneurship, we are encouraging women and ladies to come to Germany and to study. So you can also benefit from this. Uh, sometimes we offer scholarships in the management and in the business sector. So you are also encouraged to apply to this. Uh, other scholarships would be in the school of design, let's say programs, strategic design, social design. We are also supporting our students. So we really encourage you to apply for these type of scholarships. If you are qualified, you will surely get it. Okay, academic standing, good academic standing, good portfolio, good CV, very good motivational um, or personal statement. Right, thank you so much, Maya. So summing it up, that brings us to the end of our episode. If you had to give three reasons why the students should apply to SRH Berlin, what would you say they are, Maya? Yes. So first of all, again, I'm going to say this again and again, Germany, one of the most popular study destinations, it's the top European destination in, in all Europe. I would say that job opportunities, job vacancies, uh, getting a German, uh, becoming a German citizen afterwards, benefiting from all the services that Germany offers us would be something amazing if you are interested in this getting a job with amazing salary wages, decent salary wages in different sectors. And of course, the second thing would be um, learning and studying the land, studying in English language. Um, this wouldn't be a barrier for you. And of course, the location and the services that we offer, the facilities and all of this beautiful international experience that you're going to be gaining and also traveling from one country to another and then coming back to Germany. It's a very, very advanced destination. Everything is available there. And I really would like to see you with us in October. Thank you so much, Maya. Uh, so, you know, uh, Maya has summed up uh, more than three reasons for us to apply to the university, guys. So don't uh, waste any more time. Thank you so much, Maya, for taking our time for this session. And thank you for all our viewers who tuned in to this session and who've been following us on all previous sessions as well. Thank you for participating. If you do want to realize your study abroad dream, please apply now. Call us at 0304-111-8020. Do share your feedback about uh, Beyond with FCM. What would you like us to do better? Uh, you know, areas that we should skip, areas or content that you would want us to enhance. We look forward to hearing from you. Our next session would be on Monday, 9 p.m. with, the, with another university rep. Hope to see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.